Now, as far as your blog and collaboration plans, this is very laid out in a very simple way so that you can just say, hey, here's the things I'm gonna post about, and you don't have to have six blog posts. This is just so you have enough space to write out the posts that you're planning to post that month. Some people do post a little more, some people post a little less, you know, use whatever you need to use here. Um, and this is again, trying to help you brainstorm with people you can collaborate with every month because that is very, very powerful um, way of getting your name out there. Um, if you need to meet more authors in your genre, feel free to stop into Sprints and Spirits and just create a post, and that's my free writing group that I run, but Sprints and Spirits on Facebook and just ask, um, around uh, for new authors to partner up with and do newsletter swap swaps with. So, um, what other things can you do to collaborate with partner authors, whether it's social media takeovers, shout outs, uh, newsletter swaps again, something else, anything you want to do. And then if you already have an idea of when these collaborations will occur, then write them down here and then think about the things you can do to give back to those who are you know giving you shout outs. And then over here for our advertising plan, this is really just to help you get clear on what you're advertising, what will you be advertising, is it, you know, whatever whatever you're advertising, what platforms you're gonna use and the budget you have for each. And then of course, being very specific about your goal for your advertising. So it's not always just to sell copies. Sometimes you wanna add subscribers to your mailing list. Sometimes you wanna get downloads of free titles so that you can put people through a sales automation, things like that. So whatever it is, just be sure that you have a clear outcome defined for your advertising. Don't be willy-nilly, be very, very specific about this. Be very targeted about what you're doing with the money that you spend on advertising. And of course, what is the reason why you want this outcome? So if you want 500 downloads of a free title, is it to get your name out there? Is it a, a title that you know performs well with a certain audience? If so, and you want um, reviews and that's your goal, then say, if I want 500 downloads of a free title and 50 reviews. So, but dig deep, what does more reviews do for you? It gives you social proof, it helps um, improve your uh, social proof on your pages where you're trying to sell this later on if you're having a limited time free promotion, anything like that or whatever it is, just really get to the why. How does this advance your career? How does getting the outcome from advertising advance your career in 2018? So dig deep, don't be afraid to keep asking why until you can't get any further. If you haven't seen the um, behind the why or start with the why by Simon Sinek. You can go on YouTube and just type in why and Simon S-I-N-E-K and watch his videos. They're very, very powerful and they describe or they explain so much of why the why is important. So anyway, if you're advertising a social media platform, do you have training that will help you make the most of every dime you allocate to it? So for this, I really want you, if you're advertising on Twitter, make sure you know what you're doing on this platform. Don't just think that it's really intuitive and it's going to take you step by step through making the most of your money. They do not have a vested interest in you, you know, getting your money's worth. Um, they just, you know, they want you to advertise for them and if you know how to use it, that can be great. On Facebook, it's the same deal. They do not have a vested interest in you getting an ROI a good ROA. So if you want a great ROI, then you have to be prepared to learn about it first. So go ahead and learn about how to use Facebook ads. Take a course, get on Udemy. Like I said, it's really easy. Get in the Author Transformation Alliance. We made it incredibly accessible and affordable for everyone to jump in there and get training on how to boost ads on Facebook and how to you know, do full Facebook advertising campaigns. So and then really think about your target audience here. This is where you can really start taking notes about who your target audience is. And you may find that these notes evolve over time as you get more uh, clear about who that audience is, what they like, what they dislike, and who your best audience is. So keep detailed notes throughout the month in this space when it comes to your audience and the more things you learn about them. So yeah, the space. And here's your overview, guys. So this is where, again, you can map out, hey, I wanna send um, five pitches by the 15th. You gotta send these pitches here. Oh, guess what, I have a birthday here, so I better not plan anything for that. Um, you know, I have a party here. 
Um, and you kind of kind of map out your personal life and how it's going to correspond with, say, a release party here. And then, you know, you've got a, a countdown on all these days to make sure that you're um, making the most of your social media and speaking to people, but, you know, not uh, putting this in the same week that you have all these other things going on. So this, again, just a way to get an overview of how your personal life and your professional lives collide over the month. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't sound too intimidating. Um, it's it's pretty easy stuff and it's just again a way to give a, get a good visual overview of everything that's going on for you. Now in this section I wanted to share that I gave um, a space over here for your weekly priorities. So right up here put your weekly priorities down. So you say maybe you have you know you're releasing a book this week so releasing book title you're releasing it um, you also have to do a bunch of pitches or you have to um, you know focus on engagement or something like that what is your priority this week what are the tasks and I don't say what are your weekly goals because that is not the word I want to focus on here priorities what are the tasks that you have to get done in order to meet your goals so your priorities should be you know three to max five. Um, it's really hard, it, you know, put some extra stuff there that you can get done, like if you get these other things done, but have a top three, okay? It'll keep you focused, it'll keep you on track and keep help you uh, help keep you from getting overwhelmed. Uh, of course, your writing goal, if you have a writing goal or your editing goal, um, whatever visibility goals you have this week. So visibility goals, like your growth goals, are really easy to break down over a year. If you wanna gain 1,000 followers or 10,000 followers in a year, you can break that down to how many you have to gain per week. So you can say, hey, I wanna gain um, 500 followers this week. So on Facebook. And you can say, well, it's right there. So what do I need to do every day? Every day you'll have this open and you'll be able to see, oh, I need to, you know, am I close to my 500 followers yet? So anyway, um, here is a space to, you know, designate your writing buddy. Again, this can change every so often. And so write down your buddy here and say, okay, we're meeting on Monday and, you know, Monday the 1st. Um, pitches you're going to send if you're sending out if you have a goal to send out um, 20 pitches this month you say hey I got to send out five pitches this week so either way um, it's there and then of course I have a box for your daily party so if releasing your book this week is a huge priority for the week then maybe your daily priority this week has to be you know schedule your countdown uh, posts so schedule posts that give the down countdown to your release um, and then this one would be like um, order, and this is not right. You gotta order your swag way earlier, but order swag for party, right? And then, um, um, okay, start ad campaign to help get people into that party. Whatever you have going on throughout the week, you can keep it in your daily priority, you can write out what your daily priorities have to be for the week in order to meet your weekly priorities, which should be aligned with your monthly goals, your quarterly objectives, and of course your your year's goals. So anyway, daily words written, this is really great to keep here if um, this is something you're trying to improve or this is something that you really find is important for your career to track. Um, your daily water, now I included this and your daily exercise because water, nutrition, hydration, this stuff is all very, very important to cognitive function. And as writers, we need to have um, maximal cognitive function. Anyway, there's also a space here for notes. So any little things you need to think of that you need to jot down, um, again, a space for your health and wellness goals for the week, because there is, um, we really need to look at this holistically. Um, and health and wellness, again, for cognitive fun function cannot be ignored. If we're to be at our peak cognitive performance, we need to take care of all of the pieces. So this just gives you a way to think about those things. If, if you're more aware of them and they're not out of sight, out of mind, then it will be easier to actually meet your health and wellness goals. And then, you know, what are you doing this week to honor the four most important priorities in your life? And this um, goes back to Jessica Rodriguez's um, 
video about you know picking the top four things in your life and why we're picking these things and why it really makes a difference to have a focus on the four most important things we really don't want um, you know to get sidetracked by things that aren't going to make us happy in the end and you know I don't want to get side as much as I love Skyrim I don't want to get sidetracked doing that when I have huge goals so that cannot be a priority um, it's a it can be my priority when I have joy downtime for joy and restoration which is self-care but um, I can't I can't break that time for me I know I have to limit that time in order to reach the things that really matter to me in order to spend time with my family and feel fulfilled there and in order to spend more time writing where I'm going to feel most fulfilled and you know these other things so we have to identify these four most important things anyway so this is where you keep them in sight in mind and then of course at the very end here I have do you have your next week's social media schedule and like why yes Audrey I do um, your biggest accomplishment and you can say um, best release yet you know hopefully best release yet time with loved ones yes I did and then and then you can put anything you want here it doesn't have to be yes or no um, rest and renewal um, you can say you know um, two hours or you can say yeah I played Skyrim or you know you can say I, I went for um, a hike whatever you do for rest and renewal whatever rejuvenates your mind your spirit your body whatever makes you feel good and then of course here's a great little place to keep your total words written which at the end of the month of course we want to know how many words we wrote total and then add that to our quarterly progress and total pages edited this week if that was one of the things you were focused on Anyway, guys, I really hope this helps explain things and give uh, a much better insight in how to use this planner um, to maximize its value to you in reaching your goals this year.